Governor Ben Ayade of Cross River State has ordered security agencies in the state to search houses from door to door to recover items carted away by hoodlums. You may recall that hoodlums took advantage of the Lekki Tollgate massacre to loot shops and properties across some states. They broke into over 35 government and private properties, looted several items and set some buildings ablaze. On Friday, over 15,000 members of the public had broken into Cross River State Government's uncompleted fabrication academy and carted away with thousands of COVID-19 palliatives meant for people of the state. The Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Abdul Kadir Moazu, has warned residents of Jos to desist from consuming the stolen wheat seeds looted from the warehouse because they were treated with agrochemicals. The seeds were looted by citizens of the state who mistook them for COVID-19 palliatives. Moazu said that the seeds worth millions of naira are not to be consumed because they have been treated with agrochemicals. <laughs> On the foreign scene, Australia on Monday condemned the treatment of female passengers on the flight to Sydney by Qatar authorities who were subjected to internal examinations after a newborn baby was found abandoned at a Doha airport. The women, including 13 Australians, were examined at Hamad International Airport after Qatar Airways flight 908 to Sydney was delayed. Australia's Foreign Affairs Department, headed by Maurice Payne, described the treatment of the women as inappropriate and beyond circumstances in which they could give free and informed consent. Set. In entertainment, popular Nigerian singer Wizkid has just signed a multi-million dollar deal with German multinational sportswear brand Puma. Wizkid couldn't contain his joy as he revealed that it is an honor to be made the ambassador of the new JDX Puma Sweat Classics campaign after he was unveiled. The international sportswear brand unveiled the talented Nigerian star as their brand ambassador on Friday. And finally in sport, former Barcelona player and Brazil icon Ronaldinho has just announced that he tested positive for coronavirus. Ronaldinho posted a video to his Instagram story revealing his diagnosis. The former Barcelona superstar revealed he is asymptomatic and is self-isolating in Belo Horizonte, Brazil after arriving in the city on Saturday. That's all on the news today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow our various social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My name is Evangel. Thanks for watching.